Welcome back to Walls a Day, where Walls today is the Crimson Crown, a 1985 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2 from Penguin Software. This is the second game in the uh, Transylvania series. The first game is just Transylvania. This is the Crimson Crown. There's a uh, Transylvania 3 as well, which I think came out for the 2GS. I don't think it ever came out for the 2. Uh, I have looked at the Crimson Crown before on my series Mufa Day, where I look at uh, classic Macintosh disc images. So right now we're looking at the Apple II version here on Waza Day, where we're starting out on a lake shore near a sleepy willow tree. A path leads east, and they're sorry, but they don't understand. Um, let's see here. I think we're supposed to go east. I do have a walkthrough up, as I often do for these uh, interactive fiction games. It's supposed to be for the Apple II version. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I need to turn off my shift lock here in Virtual 2. Let's see if that uh, gets a little more understanding. Let's go north. Oh. <laughs> is that not... Is that... Okay, that is that is what's supposed to happen. Uh, I think I might have used the same walkthrough for the Macintosh version, and it got me stuck. So hopefully for the Apple II version, we'll see if it syncs up and we actually get through the game. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we're in, in a subterranean crypt. That's where you want to be. Uh, let's go east. I do have to hit... Shift now that I turned off caps lock. Let's see. I'm not sure what's up with that uh, not understanding. Uh, let's look in crystal ball. Maybe I should uh, disconnect my joystick. Maybe my joystick is causing misunderstandings with the crimson crown here. A great force hurls your spirit into darkness. A spectral shadow appears. It is the vampire. The vampire snarls. Your life means nothing to me, nor can you do anything to stop me. You are a mere lump of insignificant human flesh. Surrender Sabrina and the boy to me now, and your deaths will be quick and painless. Suddenly, another force seizes you and sends you into a chamber of blinding white light. Okay. Kind of an odd uh, text display on here. A friendly silhouette steps forth and greets you. Would that we had met in better times, my brave friends. But the vampire now threatens the land. From his new fortress. You must go there and destroy the vampire before he learns the secrets of the crown. Make haste. And may the good wings of fortune grace your perilous journey. Before you leave, though, take this. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this conversation has ended. The image of the vampire springs before you. He laughs cruelly as blood boils brightly in the malevolent depths of his crimson eyes. Suddenly, the crystal sphere explodes and the earth trembles. Frantically, the princess drags you out of the room as the cavern collapses onto itself, showering your party with flying debris. Okay. Here we are back again, uh, in a subterranean crypt. The passage is east and west. Okay. Uh, what we should do... I'm, I'm gonna... Let me see. Let me see if that, if that works. Okay, so I don't need to uh, upcase everything. I'm not sure why that uh, do not understand what's happening. But maybe maybe disconnecting my joystick fix it, uh, fix it. But anyway, let's see. I'm very old, yet I'm very new. Many used me before. Now there are few. A famous knight, maybe a famous too. I do not breathe. Yet I need air. True. Sabrina, cast a spell that will get us out of here. Okay. Now with the little magic that I've learned, we'll have to find another way. We're back to. That. I'm sorry. Don't understand. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It says, say windmill. The chamber shakes violently. There's a loud snap. The doors are now open. Okay. Sorry, I don't understand. Maybe this is going to play this version. Um, let's go north. Got a sword in front of us, so we're going to have Eric take sword. I don't know if I need a comma there or not. I apparently do. There we go. The chosen heir takes the sword. Go south. And then uh, press button. 
Nothing happens. <laughs> oh, it says that prevents us from uh, falling through the trap door again. Okay, that's good. Nothing happening is good in that case. Let's do look missed. You find a secret passage down in the mist. Let's see. Oh, man. Down. I gotta say the art in this I think is better than the than the uh classic Macintosh version. I think it was might it might have been uh, originally made for the Apple II here, so that might be why. We're gonna go north. Now we're in the Griffin's den, okay. Let's see here. Talk the Griffin. Three riddles have I. Oh great. Solve them, and my treasure is yours. Will you take my challenge? Yes. I mean, obviously. Uh, okay. Break the seal and read on. I will accept your answers anytime you're in my presence. You may now break the seal on the parchment and read. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is a copy protection because the, the parchment is on the manual. So this is... Uh, Included in the documentation for the game. I'm just going to answer whatever these riddles are up here. Humph. Uh, cloud. Pure luck. And dream. Uh, if you know what those riddles were, feel free to let me know. Uh, but yeah, we've defeated the, the griffin. We're going to get their scepter. Get scepter. And go south. Again. Good west. Hopefully, whatever is causing it not to understand will not uh, get us in trouble at some point. <laughs> Go north. Sometimes I have to hit interact again after that. I'm not sure why. Let's see here. Before an abandoned house, a dirt road leads west. Before you continue, from seemingly out of nowhere appears a spectral sage. Okay. It's a good uh, spectral sage. Uh, it still says just inner house. It, the, the walkthrough doesn't say anything about a spectral sage. Inner house. Go for it. The sage dissolves the smoke upon the very wind. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing for a sage to do. Especially a spectral one. Um, in our house, and let's go up. Go up the stairs. We're gonna get candle. Constant concern in interactive fiction games is having enough light. Go down. Then we're gonna leave house. Got our candle, we don't need anything else. Let's go west. We go south. Go east. Go north. Now, we're gonna light candle. The candle is now lit. Go south again. I don't know uh, why we need to do that there, but. <laughs> oh, maybe from the torch? Maybe that's why. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay, adventure game logic. Go north. We're gonna lit candle back to the house. Make it less, less spooky. Let's see. No uh, spectral sage this time. Enter house. And now we're gonna open crate. Time to create 
It's actually before this, because the crate was there before. I know a hideous zombie emerges from the box. That's not good. Now, we're going to burn the zombie. Okay. This is, uh... Terrifying. At least they didn't illustrate that. Let's see. Okay. Uh, now that we've used our candle for everything, we've got an adorable penguin here. Is that is that that or is that the zombies' clothes? I'm I'm curious. What disappeared there? Nothing unusual. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna drop candle. We used it for everything we needed. Burning a zombie alive, you know. Uh. Okay. It says get mouse. Oh, is that a mouse? Okay, it wasn't a penguin, it was a mouse. I don't know if I would have ever uh, been able to tell that from that graphic. Um, get sack. Always get the sack, folks. And next, uh, we're going to look at sack. Gleaming black rain and a strange looking flute. Okay. I'm gonna take those and leave. Leave house. Go west. South. West. I'm gonna do Sabrina cast a spell. Sabrina cast spell. Any spell will do. Okay. <laughs> Dispel cat. Uh, w. And then we're just gonna go for it. Eric. Drink potion. The commas are very important here. Okay, I suppose. Glub glub. Then we're just gonna go east. We just rolled up and drank a potion. Uh, bounce. We got what we needed. It. Uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go south. Oh no, he doesn't feel well at all. Who could have seen this coming? An ancient stub. Covered with faint writing. Um, hmm. It said in the walkthrough it has the sage confronting us again and dissolving, but no luck for us. Uh, and Eric just uh, turned into a frog. That's expected. Okay. And now, now that, now that he's a frog, we're going to do get frog. Stick him over to the lake. And do drop frog. Okay, he brought us a coin. And for some reason we don't take it. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna climb that tree. Okay. We're going to give Mouse to Owl. Got an Owl loading up here. It sounds like. Hopefully I didn't just uh, encounter a bug in the game. I am kind of glad that I have uh, floppy sounds turned on because otherwise I wouldn't know anything that's going on. It sounds like, you know, the disc is seeking. But uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a bug with the, the, the Crimson Crown or... <laughs> Let's see. I might uh, resort to my old friend. Emulator fast forward and see if that does anything. Oh, it's not giving me the... Okay, there we go. It's making it faster, but, uh, yeah. I think I might be stuck. I think that might do it. 
here for me with uh, the Crimson Crown for Waza Day. And if you like uh, early interactive fiction games for the Apple II like this, then go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.